Okay, here we are. Uh, today we've got a USS Zumwalt. Here's, we'll come down here and take a look at this guy. And his plank is a plaque. It says USS Zumwalt DDG 1000. Uh, the United States has now built three of these vessels. And they are large vessels. This is a 1 700th scale that I have uh, put quite a bit of uh, extra work into. Uh, Orange Hobby makes uh, a model of this. I've uh, added some aftermarket uh, railing as well as the uh, plaque, you know, and uh, the safety net in the back. We've got a, a Seahawk helicopter on there. Now this is about a 14 to 15,000 ton destroyer. It's really a cruiser. Those are 155 millimeter guns on the front. Uh, the stealth cupolas that they are in and, and, and the guns themselves are all functional. Uh, thanks to the last administration, the Obama administration, the uh, funding for their long-range projectiles was canceled. However, the uh, railgun uh, munitions are pretty much ready to go. They have been tested out many, many times on land and are firing great. They've fired them at sea level. They were scheduled to be utilized uh, on uh, one of the newer uh, ships that we have that have been built for the United States uh, USNS ships. Uh, but that was also canceled by uh, the Obama administration. However, uh, I believe and have it on pretty good authority that they are going to prepare uh, here perhaps in 2020 to to put the railgun to sea as they did the laser, which has already been tested at sea for several years, and, uh, and get it tested. Once they do that, they can replace the uh, 155 millimeter uh, normal gun with the 155 millimeter railgun and uh, have a hypervelocity shell uh, that can be fired uh, well over a hundred miles in range. And so we're looking forward to that. Back here on the back, uh, instead of uh, two 57 millimeter uh, guns for secondary, they have two 30 millimeter uh, auto cannons now that are in their regular uh, shape. Uh, the aircraft has a fairly large hangar and can, can carry up to three helicopters, but normally they would go with two uh, Seahawks and one uh, of the uh, unmanned uh, helicopters that are being used, which, by the way, have been outfitted now so they can actually do, instead of just search and... Uh, missions and uh, reconnaissance, they can actually uh, carry a torpedo and attack uh, enemy submarines. This ship is very stealthy. It, uh, it shows up on radar the size of a small fishing vessel. So that's a good thing. A lot of people think that they've been a waste but I'm here to tell you that they aren't. They built three of them. Originally, they were going to build 33 of them. Uh, and it was going to be the new destroyer. They built three of them. And uh, they are going to be tested uh, greatly. And let me tell you and talk about some of the things that testing will, will lead to. Number one, they also have, if you'll notice, uh, what they call peripheral vertical launch cells. You can see them there along the side. Rather than having all of the vertical launch cells in a couple of locations, they've spread them along the length of the aft uh, area there, just aft of the hangar, and uh, the forward area up towards the bow. Uh, they have also been designed so that if hit there, the explosion will be 
uh, actually guided out away from the ship. The idea is that a uh, large hit on your vertical launch cells does not uh, give you a catastrophic explosion of all those cells and it uh, doesn't shut them all down. Uh, there, each one has four cells in it and there's uh, a total of 20 so they have 80 cells. However, if you look at this and uh, see where they stop you can see that they could easily put four more on each side forward and if they took the forward uh, cupola out they could put another eight uh, along the on either side of the center line so that's 16 more back here in the aft area they could easily add another uh, 16 uh, on each side if they wanted uh, the idea being that they could put a total of 64 more cells if they removed one of the main guns and for the CGX that would be a unbelievably great configuration an extremely stealthy ship with 144 vertical launch cells uh, I would recommend putting two very stealthy oh, 45 millimeter uh, close-in weapon systems uh, right where those two 30 millimeter guns are now and make them rail guns as well and that would give them a very strong uh, anti-defense anti-air defense close in out to about 10 to 12 miles along with of course the uh, uh, evolved sea sparrow missiles that they can quad pack in each of those cells so it would be a very powerful thing and I would up here on the top uh, the last two ships uh, and I'm talking about right up here uh, this is all metal it has stealth absorbing material over it as you can see but this is a metal uh, area as, as is the rest of the ship and right here up on top I would put a, a good strong uh, laser in a stealth uh, housing as well. So if you had two uh, 40 or 45 millimeter uh, <clears throat> rail guns there and a laser up on top combined with one 155 millimeter rail gun and then combine that with 144 missiles you have a heck of a cruiser uh, for anti-air defense. And uh, Bath Ironworks could build those ships. And I would recommend building 24 of them so that all of our carrier groups, as well as uh, our uh, many, uh, marine expeditionary groups or amphibious ready groups, could have one of these ships at least uh, be out with it with, with very significant capabilities. The other thing you could do that was designed for the dual radar, so you end up putting the same radar that the Ford class has on it, make it uh, the next Aegis standard, and you've got uh, a great ship. And that type of testing is going to be going on with these three ships, as well as once they get the railgun on it, uh, they will be able to provide their original uh, function of providing very heavy uh, onshore support for Marines landing on foreign enemy beaches. So this is the Zumwalt. I wish I had a 1 350th scale. As soon as a model of it comes out I'll get one. But here she is in 1 700th scale and uh, I thought I would uh, put her out here so that you could see what she looks like and contemplate what these three vessels could be used for in terms of developing the future heavy hitter of the United States Navy. So there you have it. This is Jeff Head here on uh, the 12th of April 2020 and uh, showing off a 1 700 scale USS Zumwalt DDG 1000. 
Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope we get a 1 350th scale version of one of these soon. Thanks for watching. And uh, you guys have a great one. Thank you. By the way, I encourage your friends to uh, join up with us there at Jeff Head's 1 350th scale and uh, other military model building uh, site on our YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.